Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Megan Mangello. A fictional character sexua sexuality led administrators in a local school district to cancel a high school play in the fall. But as James Pilcher tells us, today those students will finally get to put on that show this weekend thanks to a groundswell of support. <laughs> Those behind the production of She Kills Monsters are getting that second chance this weekend here at the Southern State Community College Theater. Hillsborough School District administrators canceled the production of She Kills Monsters a month into rehearsals last fall. They expressed concern over the content of the play. It includes a character questioning whether she is gay. Nisa Reno plays that character, Tilly. I felt disrespected by the school, not only as a senior, where this was my fall play, this was it, this was my last show that I was doing, um, but also as a queer kid. To be able to put it on now? I almost don't have words to describe how amazing it feels to be able to finally put this on. A GoFundMe campaign raised more than $23,000 that enabled the students and directors to put it on privately beginning this weekend. The troupe has rehearsed all spring as seen in this video provided by Ryan Cronin, a parent of one of the participants. Any money left over is going into a new nonprofit theater group for kids to put on other plays in the summertime. Co-directors and husband and wife Jenna and Jeff Horick get emotional at the thought of the second chance for the students. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. It means the world. It really does. Yeah, it, it does. Uh, it, you know, <laughs> you get choked up. But yeah, yeah the, these kids, these kids are they are worth every minute that we have put into this play. I also spoke with the fundraiser and the main organizer behind the fundraising efforts, and he says he cannot believe that the mission is going to continue forward. In Hillsboro, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. The production is scheduled for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can get details on how to see it inside this story on local12.com.